Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization, Hypertrophy Made Simple, video number six. If you want more details, our website, Hypertrophy Guide Central Hub, or go to our, the rest of our YouTube, which has tons of long form, super informative videos. In a very short, brief amount of time, how many sets should you do when you train? Let's answer those questions right now. So first, how many sets per muscle group per session. So when you come in to hit your chest, how many sets should you be doing, for example? So here's the thing, really it's enough to trigger muscle growth and not so much that you're doing too much and causing a ton of damage that interferes with that growth. Number one, the target muscle should be at least a little bit pumped and disrupted, something should have happened to it to disturb it, at the end of each session. So for beginners, that means as few as one to five sets per session is totally good, can accomplish that task. For intermediates, more like two to 10 sets per session is usually a good amount of training that stimulates optimal hypertrophy. For advanced, the bottom end is higher, three sets minimum in most cases, and up to as many as 12 sets per session is a really good target for hypertrophy. So if you're training chest, for example, 12 sets of chest maximally, if you're advanced, is probably a good idea at the minimum three, and everything in between is usually super, super good, with the optimum average being somewhere between those two values, usually towards the middle. Now, that's this is sort of broad strokes of minimum to maximum. How do we know when it's too much? Well, when you can't recover strength to your baseline from the next session, for example, if you have chest Monday and chest Thursday, if you did so much on Monday that your Thursday workout really sucks, you did too much, you need to do fewer sets. Secondly, another way to tell is overlapping soreness. If you train chest Monday and Thursday and you did so much Monday that you're still sore in your chest, painfully, disruptively to your workout, and you're still sore on Thursday for your chest workout, that's no bueno, you gotta next Monday probably either keep the same number of sets, don't go up, or even reduce a little bit. So that's how you know you're doing too much. The best approach usually is starting at the very low end, a number per session of sets that gets you to feel like, okay, yeah, I feel that, decent pump, decent bit of disruption, a little bit of soreness, perfect, and then, if your body's getting used to that, the disruption doesn't feel quite as uh, big, the pumps are getting a little stale, you can add sets slowly, one to two sets every week. If your body is recovering on time and you have no overlapping soreness, slowly increase your number of sets. Towards the end of that increase, you're gonna be getting the too much, you're gonna get overlapping soreness, your performance is gonna start to fall. Then it's time to back away on the sets, give your body a break for a week or two or three, lower volume training, and then start threading back in to higher and higher volumes. That's per muscle per session. What about total per session? Like when you walk in and you have to do chest and back and legs, what's the total number of sets that you should be doing per session? Well, here's the deal. If you accumulate enough systemic fatigue, that's fatigue that affects all of the muscles and the rest of the body too, and it's contributed by every single muscle, you won't be able to muster the effort to push the target muscle close to failure, right? So if you're stopping a set, just because you're overall tired versus the local muscle is super, super messed up and close to its own failure point, that is no longer efficient training. For example, if you do like 10 sets of chest, 10 sets of back, 10 sets of legs, and you do biceps after all of that, you may be stopping on biceps because you're just like, oh, like I just can't do this anymore versus like your muscle, your actual bicep is feeling like it's being trained super hard and it's the limiting factor. When you can no longer have the muscle as a limiting factor, no good, that's too many sets. So how many are we really talking about here? Well, here's the deal. Usually between 15 and 25 sets per session is a good range of total sets for uh, an actual day of training, actual session of training. That's between all the muscle groups like legs, plus back, plus chest, or whatever you're training in that session. If you're strong and it's really big muscles that really disrupt you, it's probably like, you know, quads and back or something like that. It's probably more like 15 is the top end of the limit there. If you're smaller and perhaps not as strong, if you're training your smaller, weaker muscles, like, you know, side delts and calves and biceps, they don't really systemically beat you up that bad. It's more like you can do 20 25 or even more sets per session, and even the later sets are super productive. Anything under 10 total sets per session, gee, in most circumstances, that means you could actually just do fewer sessions than you're doing. Like if you're doing six sessions a week and each one's like eight sets, you know, you probably just do four sessions a week and do like 12 sets or something and do the same amount of volume and save yourself a lot of time in the gym, still getting excellent results. On the other hand, if you're consistently doing more than 30 sets, total working sets for all the muscles that you're training per session, 
you know, you're probably better off at least giving some thought to splitting up that load into multiple sessions because towards the end, anything over 20, 25, especially over 30 sets per session, those sets at the end are so crappy. They're so junky in their volume. Yeah, you're training, but you're barely stimulating. It's just like going through the motions. You're not getting a lot out of it. It's best to split it per sessions at that point. Folks, thanks for tuning in. See you next time for the next video.